My heart is broken and that's okay. But at the same time, who else is surprised because dang. Hello, how you doing? If you're one of the oldies but goodies, welcome back. I'm sorry to insinuate that you're old. You are not old, you're just subscribers and I love and appreciate you. If you're new here, hello, my name is Emma and I talk about things musical theater because I wanted to create a space where all musical theater nerds can come and hang. So, <laughs> I feel like even if you're not a musical theater person, you probably already have heard the surprisingly surprising news that Phantom of the Opera is closing in 2023. This is basically just going to be another rant video like my Funny Girl video. Hopefully I won't be bashed by Leah Michelle fans. God damn, y'all. <laughs> Calm down. I never said that I hated her. I think she's super freaking talented. When I saw her in Spring Awakening, I freaking cried my eyes out. Oh my gosh. I just thought that I would come back on here, do another rant about a show that I love and adore with all my heart and soul. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. I feel like, as a general thing, it's a surprise, but at the same time, not surprising. In my personal opinion anyways, uh, this show has been on for a <laughs> and I just kind of got the vibe and I kind of had a feeling that it might close soon especially with what the world is looking like now after the pandemic well we're still in a pandemic but after the height of the pandemic and when it came back in October of 2021 I could kind of assume that it wasn't going to make the sales as it usually does mainly because it depends so heavily on tourists and people coming to visit the city and I feel like any time anyone thinks of New York or Times Square they immediately think of this show and so with the lack of tourism and just the decline of it in general since the pandemic even though New York City has been trying super duper hard to bring tourists back into the city being like yo it's chill it's cool it's hip here come on back give us your money but despite all the effort it's still I don't know, New York isn't as it used to be and I'm hoping that it will get there at some point but at this point it's a little, people are still nervous, people are still trepidatious and also some people just don't have the money to go and see a Broadway show and that's completely understandable. I'm sorry if you can hear cars in the background, my window is open and it's stuck and I'm too lazy to forcibly close it. So that's what I think the main issue is when it comes to Phantom being back on Broadway and why it's closing. It's just, it's not a hot ticket anymore. I'm not saying that I hate Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I feel like so many people are gonna bash me for hating Phantom of the Opera. I don't hate Phantom of the Opera. Yulia Michelle people have like traumatized me, geez. Another thing is that the show is just dated. It was made in the 80s. So yeah, I feel like that it draws a crowd that is a bit on the older side. And also I feel like it's so behind the times to the point where it still has issues in terms of casting people of color, basically anyone who doesn't look white or white passing in the show. I know that they did a huge open call to find their next Christine Daae and they found their current one who is absolutely awesome, blossom, fabulous, fantastic. I know Norm Lewis went in for Phantom for a stint. They put out a call pretty recently to look for a new Raul and of course you can obviously see from the casting notice that they wanted a person of color for it. But all in all, I feel like due to it being so dated, due to it being like high stakes melodramatic, operetta-esque, and the fact that it's so reliant on their tourists. We're now in a generation where when it comes to musical theater nerds discovering musical theater, they're in the generation of listening to Hamilton and Six and Hades Town and Come From Away, Dear Evan Hansen, like all of this current stuff that's made in the last 10 years, maybe they'll find and maybe they find Phantom along the way. I found Phantom through the movie adaptation in 2004. It was because of that movie that I discovered musical theater and I discovered that that's what I wanted to be a part of for the rest of my life as an actor and performer and now I'm learning that I want to do other things as well and so you know to me it's kind of a bummer and it was it was a show that my dad and I really bonded over um which I think was really important because that was during a time where there was still a lot of like tension between my parents going through their divorce and it also like helped me discover how much I love to sing. It's made such a huge impact on my life and it's still a dream of mine to be in that show someday. Um, so to hear that it's closing is kind of 
low-key devastating for me. I mean, but you know, despite it closing and everything, I feel like that, like a friend of mine mentioned, they're probably gonna pull a lame is and say that they're closing and gonna be gone forever, but then they're gonna come back. There's a rumor going around apparently that after they close, they're gonna do the Muppet Christmas Carol there next year. I hope that's true. Or one of the Christmas Carols, but I hope it's the Muppet Christmas Carol. Who doesn't like the Muppet's Christmas Carol? Come on. And then they'll come back, but we have no idea. We shall see, but all in all, I think it's basically the end of an era come February in 2023. Pretty wild stuff. Um, and yeah, just wanted to give y'all my two cents about it. And I would love to hear what y'all think. What do you think about Phantom of the Gap for closing? Do you think it's a huge bar? Do you think about breaking time? Do you think they should bring it back? What do you think about regional theaters doing this at some point? Would you see a regional theater production do this? Do you think a tour will come back? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thank you again for stopping by. Um, feel free to give this a like if you liked it. Comment below. I'd love to hear all your thoughts. Let's keep it happy, light, and fun <laughs> in the comments, please. I don't like fun ruiners or people saying that I'm stupid, because I'm not. I'm just sharing my opinion. What a wild freaking time in the wacky world of musical theater. I also want to give a quick shout out to everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching my last video. I really appreciate it. Despite all the backlash that I got from the Michelle fans, um, I got a lot of uh, great feedback and positive feedback from friends and colleagues and complete strangers. So. It means a lot to me that y'all checked it out and to the new subscribers who found me through that video um thank you for subscribing i hope you like the other stuff that i bring to this channel may you be happy may you be healthy may you be safe and at ease and free from harm and i'll see y'all soon